I've seen people talk about selling wood since they grow so quickly and infinitely. This may be true for the early part of the game. Eventually, you will unlock drills and can make huge auto wood farms. But at that point, you can also unlock the best item to sell, which is the conveyor belts. It costs one scarlet bar and one iron bar to craft five conveyor belts. And with a drilling setup going, you can get plenty of both to craft with. You can sell one scarlet bar for 24 coins and one iron bar for 12 coins, making a grand total of 36 coins. But if you craft them into conveyor belts, you can sell them for 90 coins. This is even better with the industry specialist perk in the crafting skill tree, where you gain one extra item when crafting rails, wires, or conveyor belts. At the max level, you can essentially craft twice the amount of conveyor belts, doubling your profits. Currently in early access, the most expensive thing to buy is the rune parchment. But what you're probably after are the summoning idols so that you can kill the bosses again. By selling the conveyor belts, you will eventually have too much coins that you know what to do with. I would also recommend purchasing the mechanical part and the ancient gemstone. That is because you can craft them into recall idols, and you can never have too many of those. The ancient gemstone is also used in quite a few recipes. I would also recommend purchasing the golden lava meat so that you can cook them into stronger buffs. Items on the shop have limited stock. Once purchased, you have to wait for the merchant to restock. Currently, it has been quite inconsistent with how long it takes for the merchant to restock, so no one knows the exact number, but be prepared to wait 30 minutes or more, especially if you are out adventuring and the merchant chunk is not loaded. To get the slime merchant, you have to kill Glutch the Abominous Mass. It spawns really close to spawn, and it will shake the ground when you are very close to it, so you will have no trouble finding it. You can sort of see the old man inside the boss here. To get the Cavefling merchant, you have to kill Gorm the Devourer, and it will drop the mysterious idol. Once you have created rooms, you simply need the item and a bed inside the room to make the NPC moved in. The last NPC is pretty different from the other two, it is the Spirit Merchant. Once you have killed the Hive Mother and placed its gemstone into the statue, you can craft the Ancient Hologram Pod for 10 Ancient Gemstones and 10 Mechanical Parts. This NPC is different from the other two because you can just simply place the Hologram Pod and it will appear. You do not require a bed for it. It is also different because you cannot sell items to it. Instead, it will trade you materials for another item. It pretty much works like a crafting bench. What items do you normally sell? Share it with us in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and subscribe for more.